Hello and welcome to the Project's Relax Talk. I am your host Smokey and joining with me as always my co-host Spooge. Hello. How you doing today? I'm doing... I'm doing... Alright, alright. You give the response every time, so um, that's a good sign. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be honest. Uh, you know, and I, this is no, I, I don't, I don't fault anybody. All right, this will be a first topic. <laughs> I don't, I don't fault anybody. This is, this is totally just a random pet peeve. I really hate that question. <laughs> it's actually like it, 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 uh, it makes me like. Now, very like I don't know. Uh, I don't like that question. <laughs> I hear it too much, and I and it's never the answer that people want. <laughs> well, I I don't expect you to answer it truthfully. I I you can answer it comically. Oh, yeah, yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> That's <laughs> just it's just how I'm opening the episode, man. I got you. <laughs> I work in retail. <laughs> so, you know, now and then I'm going to just have like a little psychotic break now and then. A small one. <laughs> uh, uh, I guess people can understand that. But um, before we get into today's episode proper, we will have to discuss the Gabriella Petito story. Oh, yeah. Oh yeah, because I saw that. Uh, I saw a headline anyway. Uh, well, I don't think we're gonna cover it fully here. I'm not. I I believe it should be upgraded to a Dear Starfish Archives episode. Hmm. And we should cover it properly when the story is finalized and we know. Everything, because all we know now is her body was found in the place she went missing, and her boyfriend, fiance, mm. has disappeared, and he's clearly the the sub the the suspect. But you know, they keep saying yeah, pers- at least, well, person. Well, at least wait until he commits suicide. <laughs> uh, no, he was spotted on a. a deer cam like five hundred miles away, hiking in the middle of the woods. Yeah, no, but I said, we'll, we'll wait until he commits suicide, because this is, I mean, this is either just ending in him getting caught, or him committing suicide. Yeah, yeah, I, I feel you. I understand that. Because, uh, I, I mean, I, 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 we'll, we'll wait. I mean, he's still like a legend and all that, but just from from how his uh, behavior has been doing it, I think it's all yeah. the The only reason why <laughs> I was on the fence is because there was a couple... It disappeared, like, a couple of weeks before she did. Mm. And I'm not going to lie, I, I was totally thinking, like, we had a, like, Zodiac Killer situation going on in our head, in our nation again for a while. Mm. I was like, oh, man, they, they could have just, like, drove the van down to Florida with dude's body and put him, like, in his car or something. Mm-hmm. But yeah, then he showed up, and then didn't want to talk to anybody, and then he disappeared didn't, again. He didn't even really like what? show up. They they like his the van was found in the middle of a parking lot, and apparently he was at home, and then he went for a hike, and that's when he disappeared. Mm. So the the parents aren't his parents aren't really being very helpful in the situation. His sister. Has been semi helpful with providing text messages and stuff, but mm-hmm. they're the family's definitely trying to defend him for some weird reason. So family, that's what family does. They help you hide. They help hide you after you murder, possibly murder your girlfriend. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, it's just like I said, we're we're not gonna get into it real. That's just the quick update. But we we'll probably get into it proper and and cover all the details and what happened in an actual mm-hmm. Dear Starfish Archives episode. And I'm going to already state if even if last podcast covers them, we we're still going to cover this story. Yeah. 
All right, so <laughs> now we can uh, get away from that topic. This next article caught my attention. We're probably going to be lighthearted for the rest of the episode. And are you ready to hear the headline? Blizzard reduces titty in World of Warcraft, but not sexism at the company. Uh, the newest World of Warcraft update reduces the amount of titty that can be seen in the game. Unfortunately, no restitution for its gender uh, marginalization uh, develop, marginalized developers is in sight. Boo. As sparked by Wowhead user... Uh, that gives their username that I cannot pronounce. The latest 9.5 patch for World of Warcraft updates some in-game paintings of women to be less revealing while others have been removed altogether. A ro- woman's image in Stormwind has been altered to cover more of her breast and scantily clad reclining woman in Ravenholt has been met met the strange fate of becoming a bowl of fruit. I I think this is counterproductive to what happened, to what's going on. I mean, it means nothing. Yeah, it's... You... Ooh, you... You changed some stuff in World of Warcraft. And also... And also, like... I mean, it just... I don't know. It... But that is not the only Blizzard update. That w- that just got me down back into the rabbit hole Blizzard. Because, you know, I can't... Anytime Activision Blizzard's under fire, you know, I gotta mm-hmm. jump right on it. Because of my pure hatred for the company. Yes. <laughs> so, the U.S. government now investigating Activision Blizzard. Bobby Kotick was subpoenaed. Subpoenaed? Yes. Yeah, the U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission has reportedly launched a wide-reaching investigation into Activision Blizzard with the government agency looking into how the uh, embattled publisher handled the multiple allegations of sexual harassment, abuse, and toxic behavior that become public following a California Department of Fair Employment and Housing lawsuit filed in July. The SEC has subpoenaed Activision and several of its high-ranking executives, including its CEO, Bobby Kotick. So, it has... The, the, fire, some, the, the fire has been noticed by the U.S. government, and they decided to throw some more fuel on the fire so Activision Blizzard can burn some more. About time the FCC is, was put to good. Yeah, I, I hate that it took them this long to actually do anything. As soon as the lawsuit came about, they should have done something. In a report out today by the Wall Street Journal, it was revealed that the SEC has begun investigating Activision Blizzard, Activision Blizzard and is asking for the Call of Duty and Warcraft publisher to hand over various documents. This includes the personnel files of six previous employees and records of CEO Kodak's communications with executives relating to numerous complaints of sexual harassment and discrimination levied against Activision Blizzard staff. Activision spokesman Helena Klatsky confirmed with the Wall Street Journal on Monday that the SEC has indeed was indeed investigating the massive gaming publisher telling the outlet that SEC is focused on the company's disclosures regarding employment matters and related issues. She has also confirmed the several current and former employees have been subpoenaed by the federal agency. The company is cooperating with the SEC, said Kletsky. The investigation is not necessarily about finding justice for the victims of the horrible abuse but instead about looking out for the company's investors who probably aren't happy with its recent cycle of bad news the wsj explain the wall street journal explains that the sec is investigating to figure out whether activision is 
and its executives correctly and quickly disclosed allegations of workplace harassment and gender pay issues to investors and other related individuals. And if these disclosures happened quickly and Quickly enough, according to the documents seen by the... This is yet another legal problem facing Activision Blizzard, one of the largest gaming publishers in the world. So yeah, I... I just love... I I hate that I was right, but... Fucking love that I was right. I'm I fucking love that I was right. (laughs) Fuck them. Fake folks. I'm just that person that's been sipping his coffee and staring at the the fire the whole time going yeah yeah that's a problem and everybody going no nope and then once everybody started getting burned and started running away i I just kept sipping my coffee going i told you yeah when you got anything to say about this better than fuck corporate america burn it all fucking eat the rich (laughs) put them all there the guillotines uh fucking anyone i I kill. All right. <laughs> All right. So I have to um, I have to send you this next article because we have to listen to this one. Like last time, okay. it is from the New York Post, and I'm going to share the TMZ head ar- headline article that caught that got me down this rabbit hole. We are covering a a couple more moms. And and a one um one mom and then a mom and daughter team. But first, uh, oh. this headline caught me: Texas mom fiercely yeah. rant about anal sex during COVID school board meeting. That's a good school board meeting right there. <laughs> you know, I I think I think one thing we could give to COVID that school board meetings are more entertaining than they've ever been. Oh yeah, for sure. <laughs> For sure, I I just love these meetings. But if you could load up that New York Post, one second, I'm gonna see if it's on. It has, it's like linked to YouTube, but it's not taking me to YouTube. But I'd rather just watch it on YouTube and not on this weird thing. Yeah, I know. I I, I hate that they do that. Do it now. Uh. I want to see where the lead up is. <laughs> I know. Because we're getting right into it. Alright. Yeah, I know. I have the game in the back of my yard, but according to Wicked. Cornhole. Cornhole is a sexualist slang. She had to Google it. The term came into the use in the 1910s. The United States is verb form to cornhole, which came into usage in the 1910s. Nothing like some good old backwoods cornholing. The Southern tradition. What? What? What, what, did, what does her sexual history have to do with that book? What? What? Whatever that book saying. That book was not fucking forcing anal sex on nobody. What? What book is this? It's some book that came out in 2015. And it does it's have that passage on thirty nine. Uh, is, is this a scientific? It's, it can't be as like a educational book. No, it's, it's a it's fictional like book. It is fictional. <laughs> it is fictional. I don't remember the whole book. I read it once. Is it about Pee Wee Gaskins? No, no, <laughs> no. <laughs> it, it's, it's like it. it it's like a. It, it's like. It kind of covers racism, kind of. Mm. Like there's there's a bu- there's a racist gang in it of white people, and I'm not sh- uh, I can't remember if the passage is the them saying what they do to a chick uh, or not. It it does get kind of raunchy, and it's kind of rough for middle school. I'm not gonna lie. Oh, there's a bunch but, of weird things. There's a bunch of weird books that they recommend you. To to be honest, for, like, doing other ones. <laughs> I I feel middle school should probably be the time we're teaching the children about sex because that's like the 
right before they get into their hormonal stage, and they should probably be prepared more properly for that. Yeah, you should be. I think it's you should be slowly introducing it. Yeah, because if you introduce it too fast, it could cause some yeah miswiring up in the brain. But like, I mean, it's because uh, I'd say you you want to start. You definitely want to start like around uh, at at the very most like thir- twelve and thirteen at least to have so they have a sort of a concept. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. That that's definitely the time. Yeah. You know, it's like uh, you know you don't need to have the talk with like a nine year old. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I you just you just let you you just I mean like if because I mean other than like because now and then like you get introduced by some like some kid that like weird kid that like shows you something weird, but I I don't, I don't think that that is exactly like the healthy way. But I don't know. I feel I feel like I mean, well I don't know. When I was nine, and like I I. I don't know. You should you sh- you should keep it scientific. <laughs> yeah, yeah, definitely keep it scientific if you're going to introduce it to nine year old. But there's no uh, there's no nine year old in middle school unless they're like very gifted and got moved ahead yeah, a couple grades. What but what I'm saying is like you know even but uh, sometimes even like some twelve year olds it's like that's just like right before middle school. But that is sometimes. No, twelve year. No, no, no. Middle middle school is eleven through thirteen. You're you're in middle school when you're twelve years old. Oh, I, I, well, I was a year behind. I forgot. <laughs> so yeah, that was that article. I found it very hilarious that she had to mention and had to bring up that she never had anal sex and that she didn't want anal sex. Like somebody yeah, was gonna be- go. Well, wacky. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like somebody wants to have anal sex. You know, that, like. All oh, right, boy. this is another mom. <laughs> Moving on to the next article. <laughs> yeah. This next article caught my eye because I accidentally read, misread implants as implements. The headline is. Mom and daughter killed adult film actress with backyard butt implants, cops say. Wait, so why, why did you, why did, why was that the reason why you found this? Why were you looking up implements? I was not, this just came up on my news feed and I, okay. <laughs> and I misread it, I was like, whoa, wait a minute. Okay, now I understand that a little yeah. bit. Yeah, yeah. My uh, my new my Google News. This is a story from New York Post, and I well no, the Daily Beast. My bad, the Daily Beast. And I've been going to the Daily Beast a lot for my news. So, or you're looking up implements implements of torture. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> sure. Come on, you. <laughs> All right, but yes, a mom and daughter who allegedly posed as plastic surgery pros have been charged with murder after an aspiring adult film actress illegal butt administration surgery turned deadly. I fucked that up. It's illegal butt augmentation surgery. But uh, Lily Adun... Adam, I'm going to guess that's just Lily Adam, 51, and Elisa Gillez, 23, was arrested August 5th in Riverside, California, in connection with the death of 26-year-old Kersa Rupal, who died at a local hospital hours after she underwent the botched procedure. The Los Angeles... The Los Angeles Police Department told local outlets that the two women posed as specialists while performing the alleged illegal procedure on October 15, 2019, and likely have operated on a slew of other victims. These individuals have no medical training, the LAPD Deputy uh, Chief Alan Hamilton told 
KABC. They're not experienced. They're putting people's lives at risk. After RuPaul suffered complications from the surgery, the wo- the women allegedly called 911 and then left her to die, Hamilton alleged. They took people's cash. So like negligent homicide. Yeah, yeah, but they're they're going to get murder for this. Because yeah. she might not be the only victim, so it it might be uh, That's why I'm saying, like, not manslaughter, but negligent homicide, since it's like, it's it's not like I I want to kill you, it's just like, it's just easier that I'm doing it this uh, they, way, they they wouldn't I have gotten, happen to be dying, and I don't care. They, even if, even if they're, th- this was the only victim, and they were caught before any other person, they still wouldn't get manslaughtered, because they willingly performed the procedure knowing full well they didn't have any training or anything so you can say That's I'm saying negligent homicide and not manslaughter yeah 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 Which I, think I was I was just clarifying why mm-hmm. and the... yeah I don't I have no problem with them getting murder because I, I, I definitely think it's what they've been doing it's murder but it's like Negligent homicide's a good way of like, like stupid murder. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Like they didn't. They're they're murdering out of ignorance and not out of willfully doing complete, it. Complete, complete nihilism of like, of the people. <laughs> of their of themselves too. They're like delusional, believing they can perform a procedure and not have complications. Or they know that that or very least they can get away in time with the money before anybody realizes something's wrong. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, definitely. The Los Angeles County Coroner's Office ruled the aspiring actress's death a homicide due to acute uh, catatophily dysfunction and intramuscular and intervascular silicone injections. Ooh. Uh, detectives told local outlets that they had uncovered potential evidence in the case that suggests the pair used social media to advertise Brazilian butt lifts at a fraction of the usual cost. I mean, it's always cheap material, and honestly, the smallest thing of like a dirty needle can fuck up the whole operation. Oh yeah, for sure. Uh, for her death, RuPaul appeared in a video posted on social media that appeared to show her undergoing a, per- a procedure for butt augmentation. That footage was since been incorporated into the LAPD's investigation of the botch operation K- KABC reported. Investigators told KABC that they suspect the woman... The women injected RuPaul with a cocktail of substances used by qualified cosmetic physicians in addition to other dangerous chemicals. They were mixing them with chemicals and other substances that clearly are not appropriate for any medical procedure that would be performed on a human, Hamilton said. Police told local outlets that RuPaul had come to the United States from South Africa to pursue a career in the adult film industry. The augmentation procedure that left to her death was preceded by two other allegedly also conducted illegally at a home in Encino, California last September. There's something something that, that strikes a weird... I don't have to... I'll have to look it up because it's like there's, there's like a true crime... Like something tugging from Encino. Gotcha, gotcha. I, mean, I, I wouldn't like know. Shit happens. I wouldn't <laughs> know off the top of my head because there's so many locations when it comes to true crime, especially with the nomadic killers. It's hard to keep up with who killed who, where, and shit like that for me. I, I always like mix that Encino, information up. Though, a name like Encino, you're asking for trouble. Yeah. Hamilton told KABC the, that investigators are examining other potential victims and their relatives who may have 
loved Sorry. ones dis <laughs> who may have I loved ones disfigured or killed after undergoing procedures conducted by the uh, facade spe specialist. I, I just realized that I, I, there's no true crime thing that, that that's to pulling my memory. I'm just thinking of Encino Man. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Okay. Uh, anyway. <laughs> but yeah, that's pretty much the article. Some of these victims may have not survived these procedures. Some of these victims may not have survived these procedures, and that's what we are looking into now. He told KTLA5 separately. A day after she was arrested, Adam was released after posting a $1 million bail, according to CBS LA. Her daughter also released on bond two days after her arrest and is set to make her first court appearance on December 8th. So they're fucking running around the streets right now. Hmm. Of course. But they, you got their pictures on the article... So definitely look out for these people, and there yeah, are there are. Don't let them touch your butt. They, I, I can't stand the butt implant. Like it's such a lazy way to do. Like you can increase your butt size without getting implants. You, you just gotta yeah. work at it, and you, you actually gotta. To an extent. No, you're you gonna have your you, natural limits. Uh, well, yeah, there there are limits, but. If you tone it right, and if you you put on, unfortunately, you will have to put on a little weight, mm -hmm. and and you tone, and then you tone it, and then you can lose the weight, and you will actually, ha like, show a significant increase in ass yeah, size. Yeah, but, but also sometimes people just have like weird shaped butts naturally, and like they get it. Strong. Well, some people un unfortunately have a Hank Hill ass. They don't have ass at I'm all. Even, and I'm not even. And I'm not even talking about like the assless people. I'm talking about people who have like super square asses. It'll even extend out, but it still looks weird and boxy. You know. Uh, we, <laughs> you could. Uh, the they, that's because they're not properly toning their ass. That that has nothing to do with genetics. I think there's a lot of genetics. I feel like there's a bunch of different types of sizes. Hey, genetics ain't gonna make you your ass square and boxy. I've I, I, I know it. what I've I know what you're talking it. about. And those with the yoga pants and they, like, they have strong legs and they got weird. They got the weird box ass. Uh, that that's when they flex. And most of those probably have implants that have gone wrong, and they just don't want to admit it. If they don't have to flex their ass to do. If you you have fucked up implants, if you have a boxy ass, that's like. It's it's I, just I not like physically possible. Have, I don't know. I feel like I feel like you underestimate that the shapes and sizes and weirdness of people that I see every day. <laughs> I mean, you're judging it's, based it's on pants. I I'm judging based on how many asses I've seen outside of pants. So. Oh yeah, but those are all the people that you're fucking. You ain't fucking weird ass. <laughs> <laughs> We're not just basing this on people we're attracted to. We're basing this on real people that people forget exist because they're not attracted to them. <laughs> oh, shit. The people that literally look like Oswald Cobblepot. <laughs> <laughs> and it wasn't because of being unfit. It's because they're born that way. <laughs> Keep talking. I got to mute. <laughs> But uh, <laughs> I, don't, I, don't even, I don't even know what we were talking about before. Before we started talking about weird shaped people. <laughs> yeah, but but also just like in the same way of like someone could have like a super crazy like anti chin that goes sinks all the way into like their fucking. It, it looks super unnatural, but it's they they have it. It exists. It's out there. It's 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 in our DNA DNA code. Uh, that I I think that's more outside intervention. Yeah, and, then I, and I'm not saying that every ass is like that, but there's some. There's just some out of intervention asses. Ah, uh, 
I haven't weird seen theories. I I haven't seen any, but I don't work in retail like you do, so I see some weird asses. I see some unexplainable shapes that I don't even know how these people are walking around. <laughs> <laughs> it's fascinating. It's like it's not even like an ew. It's almost like a huh. <laughs> Yeah, I don't want to see it, but it's like you're an anomaly. It's like what, seeing a different species, <laughs> and you want to see how it works and how it like it hobbles around because it's it's different. <laughs> I spend a lot of time around people. I don't want to. <laughs> I wish I wish I didn't I wish I didn't see the asses I've seen. <laughs> All right. Okay. <laughs> so we can move away from that if you want. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, it was making you extremely uncomfortable. <laughs> I just didn't know where to keep it keep it going. Gotcha, it, it was gotcha. at its end. <laughs> this next article we are uh I always have to have a article from Florida it seems now the uh, Florida. Florida boarding school teacher charged with having sex with student uh, it's not even uh, I don't even know like what do we, do we even want to cover this one like this is like kind of the same same shit and then no one cares because <laughs> it's and then everyone's like oh I wish that was me and then someone's like hey no that's bad and then and everyone forgets about it like a week later and no one cares because it's yeah i don't know it's it's bad it's a bad <laughs> thing it shouldn't happen and it happens all the fucking time and well, well <laughs> the reason why it the, the, the they don't disclose the age but this could have been an 11 year old this 37 year old slept with huh it could have been the the minimum age of the victim could have been eleven, and Ew. the teacher was thirty eight. They haven't disclosed the child's age. Okay, that, that yeah, that's a little different than like the, the other thing that was still bad out of here. But there there was some couple there was a couple of them that were a little bit younger that, that I haven't heard of a of an eleven year old one yet. Well, <laughs> it, it, now they like I said they haven't disclosed. The child's age, the boarding school teaches between 6 to 12, so it could be a 17, 18 year old, but in Florida, age of consent 17, so. Mm -hmm. But uh, that that's what got me intrigued was I, I was wanting to know the age, because that, that really, you know, if, if it was just some like 17 or 18 year old that's like, just taking a few more classes, then I don't see why this happened, but. Well, I mean, no, that's, and that, was, that wasn't what I was saying either. I'm just saying that this is, it, <clears throat> this is going to get sensationalized in a weird kind of fetishized way. Uh, yeah, I, I know exactly what you're saying. Uh, a lot, it's the fantasy that you want your hot teacher to take your virginity, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, I know what you yeah, mean. Yeah, and then, and then it also becomes kind of like I don't know it. It always the 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 attention of like what actually happened gets diverted, and uh, and I, I don't know. And it's it's almost like it's because people are pretending like oh weird it's a female that did that. Usually it's you know usually it's one of our our many uh, hmm. predator sexually sexual predator male ones that. We don't really see as many articles because it happens all the time unless they were like prolific. <laughs> yeah, for sure. She you turned know. herself in. Uh, that that's one thing. So she's the one that like admitted to it and everything, so But honestly it's just that uh that it's really it's still really easy to be a predator in, in the school system. Honestly. Extremely you you I mean, you you have the Easiest opportunity to groom somebody in the schooling system. Mm. Next to also, disgusting parents. Yeah. But yeah, I mean, other than that, I mean, I don't, 
I ain't got anything else to say about this. <laughs> All right. Well, you blew that article out of the water, but I'll still leave the link in the description. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> So I have a few more. I don't. I, I think this will probably be the last article we cover today, and it's just clearing something up because we kind of. Uh, I believe it was the first episode. Might have been the second. We kind of just uh, we covered Drake Bell's um, little situation that he had, and we kind of just like wrote it off as he's a disgusting person but he has yeah. come Drake Bell offers explanation of child endangerment guilty plea urges fans to come to your own conclusions so we're we're gonna clear the air and come to our own conclusions huh? what do you say uh, I'll hear him out I guess Alright, so, former Nickelodeon star Drake Bell, who was sentenced to two years probation and community service in July after pleading guilty in charges stemming from his online conduct with an underage fan, says in a new Instagram video that he did not know the age of the fan at the time of their virtual communication and that all conversation and communication, and communication stopped when he became aware. I responded to a fan whose age I didn't know. The one time Drake and Josh Starr says in his first non-courtroom public response to the case, when I became aware of their age, all com conversation and communication stopped. He added that the fan continued to come to shows and pay for meet and greets, and that he did not know that the person he met on those occasions was the same one he had ceased communicating with online. Watch Bell video response below. In the other, in the video, Bell states that there was no sexual images, nothing physical between himself and his accuser. I am not charged with anything physical. He says I was not charged with the disseminating of photographs or images or anything like that. This is strictly over text messages. Bell acknowledges in the video that his behavior was reckless and irresponsible. In a continuance hearing conducted via Zoom by Ohio's Cuyahoga County Common Pleas Court in July, the new 19, the now 19-year-old woman delivered an impact statement in which she accused the actor and musician of engaging in sexual conduct with her during a backstage encounter in Cleveland. When he, she was 15 years old, calling Bell a monster and a danger to children. But Bell's plea involved no charges related to physical conduct. It's not me telling you that the claims are false, the 35-year-old Bell says in the video. But the state of Ohio has proven the claims to be false. If these claims were remotely true, my situation would be very different. I would not be here at home with my wife and, son, and my son. At the July hearing, Bell's attorney offered a similar argument and noted that no evidence had been submitted to back up the accuser's claims of new photos exchange. Attorney Ian Friedman also disputed the victim's account of sexual relations both backstage and in the actor's hotel room, noting that other adults had been, pres had been present at the time. Hmm. Uh, during the uh, sentencing, it, like, it sounds like we, it needs more time before it, anybody could say anything. <laughs> uh, to be honest, I'm gonna believe Bell because it would be extremely easy for a lawyer to get a hold of those pictures, even if she deleted them from the cell phone. They're still, it's been only four years. The cell phone company still has those records on file and everything. It it would it would be super easy to get those photos back if you absolutely had to. I'm not going to say anything because I'm not an expert in law. Uh, I'm not saying Especially anything. I'm not before. going to state that I'm not going to yeah. challenge. Uh, that, that That's why I'm not going to challenge the verdict. 
to be honest. Because I'm going to assume that the law did did this to their fullest extent, especially their law, especially the accuser's lawyer. I mean, surely he wouldn't just come up with a case thinking, oh yeah, having her come to court admitting it will be surefire. You, like, you gotta have physical evidence of that stuff. You can't just have, that's hearsay. Like, that that's literally her word against his, then, and that's, that's not gonna stand up in court whatsoever. Like, literally just wasted his time. She didn't even, like, get any money out of it or anything. So, mm. that's why I'm going to assume that this was an attempt for, like, a peddly cash grab. Because uh, if it if it was true, that if if any of her statements were true, which that means she's performed perjury, which that would be really upsetting. But if any of her statements were true, I would believe that she would want to provide the evidence. Mm-hmm. And I hate to say I... it, but if if Drake Bell did send her a nude. And you know how much money that would cost? Like, that alone would encourage someone to keep a nude from a celebrity, if you catch where I'm going from. Like, there, yeah. there's several reasons why she would want to keep that nude, and it's not for sexual reasons or anything. I'm not trying to imply that at all. Mm-hmm. I'm just saying, like, a, a nude from Drake Bell, mm. that's money. Yeah. Like, that, uh, unfortunately, you know, Drake Bell could pursue her for releasing, inseminating that kind of content, but that would be on him for sending her that in the first place. And then she would have the right, correct evidence instead of throwing the hot dog down I'd the... Have to look more, I'd have to look more into the case because I'm not as... I'm not as knowledgeable into the well the case law. is the, I can't say anything for sure other than what just was said that Drake Bell said in an Instagram thing right now is oh well like the, the case the, well it did say the case um, she stated that she that he tried to do inappropriate sexual conduct backstage and during a meet and greet and he clearly stated that that wasn't the case that what it was was she went to she paid for meet and greets and showed up and he wasn't even aware that it was her. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I got that. That's literally all she has to go on. And that apparently he sent her nudes, but she doesn't have the nudes to back up that claim. Okay. Yeah. And that's what they were going on. That was the whole case. Was that he apparently... That he tried to sexually, uh, that he was being sexual, uh, that he tried to be sexual with her, and there's no evidence of that whatsoever. There is evidence that he had misconduct with an underage person, and that's what ultimately he was charged with. Okay. He was in charge with child endangerment. I was just making sure, I'm just double checking. <laughs> yeah, yeah. The, I, like I said, the the case is very, very weak with just her on the stand. Yeah. Especially when uh, apparently there was other adults at those meet and greets that can corroborate Drake Bell's stories. So it's another. Okay. Just wanted to double check before we started <laughs> saying that it was just a money grab and. <laughs> Uh, it's just Before how I I feel that if it yeah. wasn't a money grab, then the lawyer would have gone, like, there would have been a lot more evidence than her confess going on the stand, just having her go to the stand. Like, I've, I've, I'm, not a lo- uh, I'm not a law expert, obviously, but it, that just feels like a really weak case just going by. One yeah, person going, he touched me inappropriately and sent me nudes, but I can't provide the nudes. What? It's hard to uh, put people away for a, for a lot of ev- like more evidence than that. <laughs> yeah, but the new if if she was able to produce one nude, that would have 
in it for him. Yeah, that, that's what I'm saying. Like the people provided have provided more and still haven't got it. I don't. That it'd be hard to expect presenting like no evidence. Oh <laughs> uh, yeah, like You're not gonna get far. And it's other than some social. I mean, she she definitely succeeded in in definitely hurting him, uh, hurting his reputation forever. Yeah, he's always. Yeah, yeah, that that's for sure. Unfortunately. All right, so. To be honest, you really don't have. Oh yeah, I was going to do a follow up on, um, the Chicago mother that shot her son, uh, F Fallon Harris, that shot her son over the memory card. Oh. <laughs> a quick update on her: she didn't show up for court. She was she was allowed to just she was off. They get let her on bail. I have no clue. The mother accused of murdering her own son did not show up to court Friday. The mother accused of murdering her own son. <laughs> was she hiding under her bed in her in her jail cell, where she should have been waiting for, for her court? <laughs> I don't think she was in jail, dude. What? <laughs> That'd just be like like huh. Sort of odd that how Bundy didn't show back up for his uh for his trial. <laughs> we told him to be here at eight, eight o'clock sharp. <laughs> like no one was watching this lady. <laughs> Apparently not. Apparently, she was. We have a a child murderer just running around looking for a memory card. You know she's still looking for that fucking memory card. <laughs> Why is it? I forgot what happened to the memory card. It was the, taken the, out by the son. Did they break it? No, no. The memory card was. She took a memory card out of her car. I'm guessing she's got like a dash cam or something in her car. I have no clue why there's a memory card in the car. They don't specify why. Mm -hmm. And she couldn't find it because apparently the son did something with it and was lying about not knowing where he is and that was you know you know what happened next yeah does the memory card exist <laughs> <laughs> that's what I, I want to know I really hope so I am not sure I am not sure at all to be honest the mother <sighs> The mother accused of murdering her own son did not show up to court Friday. The mother accused of murdering her own son. They repeat that line twice for some reason. Fallon Harris was supposed to be in court on murder charges of Caden Ingram's death. Caden Ingram died from multiple gunshot wounds to the head, according to the Cook County Medical Examiners. Cook County Assistant State Attorneys Eugene Wood said Harris vi Violent outburst began around 10.15 last Saturday when she pressed Caden about the whereabouts of a digital memory card she had removed from her vehicle the previous night. And they just go into the case. They don't... I, I want to know... Because it... I mean, it, it doesn't even have to be connected to the car. It could just be a memory card from another location that was put into the car for storage. So <laughs> <laughs> it just makes no sense. This could be like this. Maybe this is like her old PS One memory card, and she like did a one hundred percent on a uh, on Odd World. I'd be pretty mad. Ooh, yeah, <laughs> that would get me steaming. Uh, but uh, it's good to know that some of her family members, including her husband, at least showed up for the court. You know. Her next yeah. hearing is next month, so maybe we'll get some more information next month, but it will be November when we cover this topic again, because technically we are recording this on the first day of fall. Oh, what, what, so what, what, is, what does that make today? The 
fall uh, the autumn equinox. Oh. Yeah. Let's get the let's get the new. We got that Halloween vibe in the air now. Yeah, it's really good. The pumpkin, the pumpkin spice. All right, so that's all that I had for today. To be honest, this is gonna be some editing I have to do. But That's if fine. you've been listening for however long this video is, thank you for listening and thank you for watching our content. Uh, please like or dislike the video. This one's been a rough one, I'm not going to lie, so I understand if you dislike it. Leave a comment on what you think of the articles we covered. Share, the, share it around, you know, get us on Reddit, that'd be nice. Subscribe and ring the notification bell. Uh, yeah. Do you want to say anything before we do our bye byes, Spooge? Uh, 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 eat oats. Gotcha. And drink oats. Uh, you should have said uh, drink your oval team. Thank you. But all well. All right. So this will be well, a. I didn't get the reference. <laughs> this will be a bye bye. Bye bye.